and welcome along and welcome back to the farm. My name is Max. Uh, today we're heading into New Woodshit, partly because uh, we need to get a, an upgrade on the 7R here. Uh, there's the coffee shop. We're going to be spending a little bit of time in there in a minute um, because we're getting the 7R uh, a little bit of an upgrade. Plus, uh, the reason we're upgrading uh, the 7R uh, with, uh, with what we're doing actually is we're putting some thin jewels on it. Uh, and the reason we're doing that is because we are also going to pick up today a new cedar, which actually you can see up the top there. So that is ours. Uh, first, though, we need to get a new set of wheels on here. Um, the uh, the shop here will uh, give these uh, or send these current ones uh, back to the farm for us so that we'll be able to use them later. But, uh, yeah, currently... We're going to uh, just leave this here for them to work on. So this is our nice 7R. Uh, they're going to put us some nice jewels on the back of this and some uh, thins on the front. Um, and then we're going to come back down here and we're going to pick up uh, this nice bit of kit. Uh, now this is a horse. Um, it, is, uh, it is a massive thing, this. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a direct seeder from Horsh. Uh, it is an Evo CS, as you can see on the back here. And, uh, yeah, this is a very, very nice piece of kit. Uh, so, yeah, this will direct seed. This is what we're going to seed the winter wheat with uh, today. And, uh, and yeah, this should this should do us grand. But uh, until we've got the wheels done on the tractor, um, we're going to uh, just head down to the coffee shop, get ourselves a drink, and uh, and we'll be back in an hour or so. Once the uh, the updates have been done to the tractor. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, now that was a lovely cup of coffee. And there she is. And, uh, oh, interesting. I thought, I thought we were getting, um, I thought we were getting narrow twins on here. We're not. We've got, uh, these are a set of standards, I think. I think we'll just pop into the shop quickly and check. Um, I want to check that that's correct, and uh, and and make sure that I've ordered the right thing. Okay, so uh, yeah, my bad, I did get it wrong. These are actually a set of standard uh, standard jewels on here uh, that we've got on, which is fine. Uh, we've we've got uh, I think I don't know if they're narrow or standard on the cedar. Either way, uh, this will be fine. This will do the job we wanted to do. So back in our tractor. And up we go, and we're going to go up the top and collect this up. Now, we have something else up at the farm ready for us. Um, I purchased a um, something to load our cedar up with. Uh, we can load this from the uh, silos, but uh, I thought it would be better to have an, uh, an overload on the, the farm. Uh, we've also bought um, a, a European man truck for the job. Um, there we go. Or a European style man truck for the job. And so everything connected up. Looking good. Uh, let's head out this side bit here. Easier way for us to get out. And we'll put our beacons on. And away we go. So we're going to get this back up to the farm. And, uh, and sort ourselves out. And get ready to seed us. Or uh, seed ourselves with some wheat. Uh, which will be, uh, yeah. Really great start today, and really great thing for us to uh, to get done. Almost back at the farm now, and this is the field we're going to be doing today. So we don't actually need direct seed for this field uh, because we've got it ploughed, uh, but it will uh, it will help us. It'll break up the uh, furrows quite nicely, uh, and uh, and yeah, that is uh, the thing. Now the reason why we've gone for this cedar. Despite the fact that we do still have a cedar in there, uh, which is also a direct seed, um, is because of the increase we've done with our uh, the sides of our field. So that cedar we've got in there, that is already sorted. And in fact, here's our horse, uh, our horse loading wagon and, uh, and our man truck that it's mounted to. So we're going to be using that. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, the reason why we've gone for this is... Our fields are now so much bigger that uh, it's just, uh, it's incredible what we're going to need to get done. So we look up here. So we've got our two hoppers here. We're going to get these filled with 
the uh, horse truck. So uh, I don't think I've actually got any seed or fertilizer in here at the moment. So we're going to go and load this up. And it's quite difficult to see out of this truck. Uh, but it does work. Right, I just need to remember. I think I got fertilizer in uh, one of these and seed in the other. So I just go and get this filled from this. Uh, yeah, this is our seed. There we go. That is filling up. Rather nicely. Yeah, in that goes. Uh, so seed in this side. And we'll cut that off. There we are. And then fertilizer is what we have in our other silo over here. So get that positioned in the right place. And uh, get that filling. There we go. So that's filling the other side. Uh, and yeah, this seed tender is absolutely brilliant. So this allows us to get both seed and fertilizer into our uh, into our cedar really easily. And this holds enough for our cedar, or our, sorry, for our cedar, yes, to be filled up. And the nice thing about this, there are other cedars out there which, uh, which are quite difficult to sort. Uh, they, uh, oh, I need to be in the right place with this. Right. Now, with the spout. Now, how are we for positioning? This is the small issue. But actually, I'm quite happy with that. We can come straight back. There we go. That is now filling that up with uh, fertilizer. So it'll be fertilizer in the back hopper and uh, seed in the front. And you can see that going in there quite nicely. And that will cut off when it reaches the top. Uh, that's what uh, got a nice sensor on the uh, on this that uh, that automatically cuts it off. And uh, oh, yeah, actually, we might empty all of it. Yeah, in fact, we have. So that's that, and we need to reposition for the other one. So let's go and do that. So reposition for the other one, and get that in place. There we go. So that is now emptying seed into there. And we can watch that go in as well. Rather nicely. And similarly, we can cut that off once that has filled up. Uh, which would be good. Right, brilliant. So has that put... I think that's filled it up without actually... Oh no, that has taken pretty much all of it. So that is perfect. So we'll fold this back down. Uh... Like so. And move this out of the way. So we might need to go and fill this up later. But. That is nicely out of the way there. And what we're going to do. Is we're going to start from the far end of the field. We'll set ourselves up a nice GPS course. Uh, going and we're going to work our way this way. I think this is the fatter part of the field. Uh, so we'll close up our cedar. There we go. And away we go. So yeah, we'll set ourselves a GPS course along the back uh, side of this field, uh, which is uh, which is a nice sort of um, a nice edge to do it on, and uh, and that will uh, position us really rather nicely to get the rest of the field done. Uh, and is a, is a pretty much a better way to go, I think. I think we've got more turning space down the far end, although it is a little bit on the uh, the full width. So let's unfold our cedar which is a wide one this one you see extra width it's it's really kind of um odd to see that uh that fold all the way out it doesn't look that big when you first line up so i think this should give us the full width yeah or oh no not quite Ugh. always slightly difficult to judge that first bit that first positioning. There we go. Yep, there we are. So, uh, turn that on. Put it down. So, we're in. Uh, set our GPS. Right, and away we go. So, we're setting the GPS course first. 
Uh, we're going to run straight along this plow furrow here. Keep ourselves nice and straight while uh, still planting the wheat. Uh, and once we've got this set, this will then position us for the whole field, uh, which will be great. We'll uh, position us really, really nicely. And this plow furrow here, following these plow furrows along the edge here, that is uh, that is something that actually works well. I've just noticed, actually, this probably is not the best way for us to do this field. Uh, we've, we're going completely against the plow furrows. Um, mm, that's not wise. I have mucked up. Oh, well, this is going to be a bit of a bumpy ride, I think. Yeah, this is not the way we should have uh, planted this. I think we might cancel this course. Because this, oh, wow, no, this is not wise. Okay, so it's not going to be great. We're going to end up going the other way. Because, um, wow, that is not a turn I want to keep making. And uh, And what we'll do... Is we'll turn around and we'll actually go and get ourselves the right way down this field. So we kind of got the headland first. We are, yeah. We're going to end up with a, quite a messy field here. But uh, that's, uh, that's the way it goes sometimes. I hadn't, I hadn't thought deeply enough about this and that's my fault. Uh, this headland is going to be absolutely rotten uh, with me doing this. Right, there we go. So. Down we go. Once again, set our GPS. Start it off. And away we go. Now, once we set our first line on this GPS, as I said, we will be in a good position uh, in which we can then go up and down the field properly. I'm going to have to try and avoid that headland, though. So it's going to be an interesting thing from that point of view. Uh, there we go. Right, so set our GPS course. Lift it up. And hopefully... When we turn now, we should. Ah, oh, that's not worked. Okay, we'll try and set it again. Right, set our course. Yeah, there we go. Course is set. Let's see if we can keep nice and straight on here now and uh, and get ourselves a good course at the end of this. Hopefully, this will work. And yeah, we've, we've set ourselves a monumental task to not destroy that. Uh, right, and... That sets our course. Perfect. Right. So lift. Round. And yeah. Just doesn't make things easy for us. There we go. Nicely set on our course. Bring our cultivate. Or bring our cedar back down. And away we go. So that is it. We are... We are perfectly set up with GPS now. Uh, we should have no issues going forward from here. I am going to try and avoid driving over that bit of headland at the far end that I've uh, that I've seeded in the wrong direction by mistake and kicking myself for that. Uh, there we go. So we're coming to the end, and yeah. So we're trying to keep the headlands uh, where the headlands are. Uh, certainly at this end. Uh, the other end is going to be much harder. Set ourselves back on course. And drop. And away we go. So yeah, makes it so much easier. 
Uh, so I'm going to continue on on this, and uh, and we'll see you in a bit when we've uh, when we've got a bit more of the field done. So we're now on the longest part of this field, and we've sort of moved into that part of it. And I'm quite amazed. It actually the the field works really well uh, with the width of this cedar. Uh, it's a nice thing to see that uh, it it just sort of fits together really nicely for that. And as a result, you know, we work our way through it easily. We don't need to suddenly work on a, a bit of... Uh, uh, we don't need to suddenly work on a bit of um, uh, of width that, that is missing. Oh, we've already got weeds. Wow, those popped up quickly. That's an annoying patch of weeds to uh, have suddenly appeared. Um those are yeah um but so we're we're motoring through this field we're doing it really nicely it's uh it's a good amount we have managed to avoid for the most part uh turning on uh on the bit of headland that we planted ahead of uh, ahead of when we meant to um fortunately uh well what it does mean is that we're going to end up with uh, a much wider headland down this end of the field uh, than we will down the other end. Uh, but that's not a massive problem. Uh, we just have to keep an eye on it. Uh, at the moment, I'm I'm not too worried. I'm not too fast. It's it's the rest of this is working okay, and uh, and it's a big enough field that we can absorb the issue with that. It's not ideal, not ideal by a long shot. But uh, as mistakes go, I've I've seen worse. So uh, yeah, we we we'll, we'll just uh, we're just going to keep motoring along like this. Oh wow! Uh, but yeah, it looks like we're going to have a big crop of weeds very quickly in this uh, in this field. So we're going to have to we're going to have to get the weeder on here and get that uh, sorted. But that's all right. We can uh, we can sort that in the near future. Um, but I'm I'm quite happy with how this is going. So let's get this field finished off. And uh, and we'll see where we are at that point, and we'll see how much we've used and uh, and uh, and how we're going. So I think we're coming to the end of the main body of the field now. I don't think we've got much more than a single wit's worth there. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to have a quick look here and see if we've got more than a wit's worth. On the end of the field. I don't think we do actually. Or oh, yeah we do just. Okay. So. What I need to do. Is. Uh, is we're going to end up having a little bit more. Uh, to come back on. So we're going to have to try. Uh, we're going to basically come and uh, double back. Uh, so this is a, a thing with the headlands. It's not, it's not great. But uh, not much I can do about it. So. Really uh, pulling a little bit further forward before I turned would have helped. Uh, but we can cover this. So that's all good. And this is uh, this is kind of why you go right up to the edge. And uh, and yeah, you try and measure with the GPS. You should try and measure uh, so that you get a, a wit's worth left at the end. Um, I have not quite done that. But so uh, yeah, we are going to end up doubling up some of our seeding on the end here. So, back this round, and also means we're going to be driving a little bit on where we've planted. If we uh, throw ourselves down the middle here, that should mitigate that. So, yeah, this is definitely not best practice we're doing today. I'm getting used to it's, it's The issue is partly that I'm getting used to this cedar. Uh, this cedar, sorry. Um, yeah, I know a bad workman uh, blames his tools. Um and really, uh, I should have known better and should have configured things a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm fairly happy with how this has gone. Um, we certainly should be all right when we get to the other end. Lift up here. Nothing we can do much about with the field itself. So we're going to get a little bit of overlap at here as well. Might be able to turn off the end seed bits, actually. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, yeah, should be able to do that. Right, and away we go. Okay. 
cool. Uh, yeah, and we're going to get the headlands done, and uh, and then we will be done. We're going to finish up. We're actually going to finish up near our seed tender uh, because we are in a, uh, that position. Uh, but we're going to we're going to go down the diagonal here, and yeah, we have a big string of weeds that have come up in this field. They must have been sitting just under the surface because that is that is a huge set of uh, weeds to come up on here. Let's check that we're on the edge. Yes, we are. Good. Cover all of that. Perfect. Uh, and we'll bring this around here. Get this headland. Our double width headland. Well, let's not put this in the. Oh, I really, really don't want to go in the river. Right, well, that would be a wonderful end to this, really, wouldn't it? Alright, we'll bring this forward a little bit. There we go. I want to try and avoid double seeding wherever I can, but it's not going to be wholly possible around here. There we go. So hopefully this uh, this won't be too bad. Again, we've got we've not quite got the the length at the end of the field right. So uh, yeah, it's a pity. It could have worked a lot better than it has. Um, but I have a feeling we're still going to get a pretty good yield off this. Uh, we've got a lot of time and effort and work going into it. So uh, yeah. Despite the mess ups, I think we'll still have a good, uh, a good crops off here. As I said, we mostly put the wheat in to create the straw for the cows. And then one last little row here, and then we'll bring this back. And we've got the top end of the field to do the headland there. And that will then cover us. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with that. It's uh, it's not perfect. It's uh, it's actually far from perfect, but it'll do. Uh, we'll know for next time with this. Uh, to uh, exactly, I need to set my GPS uh, endpoints and and bits at the end of the field a little bit better, so that we only have one uh, one width of our cedar on it. Um, and that should uh, that should come together fairly easily. We had to pull out here a little bit to get that in. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I do not like this corner. That is scary. Right, turn the cedar off, and we're gonna go and get our other headland done. Final headland, and it looks like we might actually have got this headland's width right, which would be astounding. Um, that would be absolutely fantastic. I want to try and make sure. Oh, I want to try and make sure I'm uh, I'm good. Thing is, I should probably turn my cedar on. That would be helpful. So let's reposition this. Turn it on. Down we go. Yeah, move out a little bit. Uh, but we're good. There we are. Yeah, absolutely great. Not quite going up to the edge, but close enough. And uh, and means that we're in a good place. Uh, and this is where I'm actually going to end uh, this vlog. Ooh, we're going to have fun getting this bit done. Um... All that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and, uh, and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.